Hey everybody, John here with Sergeant Reds. I'm in a tunnel. I'm in a tunnel, that's why it got dark. Uh, I am going to check out a collection of some vintage toys today. I had a gentleman reach out to me and uh, basically found his toys from when he was a kid and he's moving and he's just done moving this stuff, uh, which happens a lot. People tend to hold on to stuff and then eventually they're like, why am I still moving this? Let's just part with it um, and sell it. And that's what he's doing. So I'm driving out to check it out. It looks like it's a bunch of like Masters of the Universe, uh, some Ninja Turtles, things of that nature. So 80s era stuff, um, early 90s era stuff. So we're going to check it out see what we have. And guys, remember, if you have a collection that you're looking to sell, magic cards, um, vintage toys, anything kind of retro cool geek stuff like what we normally buy um, or have in the shop, you can always reach out to me at sergeantreds at gmail.com and um, we can try to work something out. Anyways, guys, let's go check this collection out and uh, show you what we find. All right, guys, so we're here uh, to check out this collection. This is Chris. How's it going, everybody? It's going good. You think... They're that's, not going to respond. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can respond back to Chris in the comments below if you want. So, All right, cool. So show us what you got. All right. So we got our old Atari stuff here today. Um, all of this uh, was working last time. It was plugged in. But and, since we don't own TVs that actually uh, use this stuff nowadays, I couldn't tell you definitively at this moment. When's the last time those were plugged in? Do you remember? The like 90s. What? The 90s? I, I would suspect the 90s. As okay. A fact. Uh, all the games in here um, and then the ones in their packaging uh, still there. Okay, cool. So basically we have, it's what, all Atari and then... You have the one out. Is it the 800 over there? The and then 800, the... I think the other one is the uh, 2400. Is it? And then even the floppy disk one, which is the 1050. Okay. Um, which that that of all of them is probably the one that's not uh, operational. Okay. In fact. You got a couple little toy guns here. Now, is this all stuff that was from you were a kid? When you were a kid? Some of it looks older than you. Yeah, so... A, a You're lot, what, 50? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'm about 42,000, as a matter of fact. So okay. I, I predate all this, as a matter of fact. So, uh, the stuff that was mine was the Ninja Turtles, the G.I. Joes, the He-Man stuff. Okay. Uh, then you get into the Tonka and the Strutco, or Strutz... Toe? I, I'm not exactly sure how that said. Uh, those ones there, the metal ones, were actually my father's, as a matter of okay. fact. Um, so those date back, uh, 50s, etc. Um, we also have some Care Bear stuff, even a Snoopy box that's, you know, from the 50s. Again, that's probably going to be worth about $15 at most. It was a, a, a tackle box, right? Yeah, it is a tackle box with the stuff still in it. Um, we're going to have... So you got a My Pet Monster My over Pet there. My Pet Monster, exactly. Does I he know. have his uh, chain with him? He does, as a matter of fact. He does have uh, still... He is in servitude. <laughs> So, is it missing links, or is it? That... It does have the uh, the handcuffs, but unfortunately, the the link that connects the two are, are is not uh, oh, okay. part of it. If I ever find that, I'll give you a ring. Awesome. As a matter of yeah, fact, cool. uh, old operational Game Boy Care Bear, as well as the uh, giant plush. So you have the giant uh, plush Care Bear over here. You got a little rocking horse. Yeah. So you got some Fisher Price stuff. Was this yours when you were a kid, or is this? You know, I think that might be uh, a hand me down, so to speak. It was yeah. Probably my brother's uh, as my, mine as well. So those are, are you know seventies, eighties. Yeah. So these look a little little bit old because you're what in your 30s in my 30s yep so yeah i mean fisher price is one of those things i mean there's collectors out there for it i always find that it's like do you remember playing with fisher price I, you know I, I don't remember much things but yeah. no i don't really <laughs> yeah so, so that's the thing is like i don't remember playing with it so i think that a lot of times it's like it's not as many collectors out there now who are these guys uh, that is Ryu. So he is the uh, the, the the king of the home, okay. as a matter of fact. He, he kind of runs the show. Ryu, if you'd like to say hi or... Hi, everybody. See, there we go. See, there <laughs> yeah, he goes. Yeah, I got a little reaction. Like, and then uh, the queen of the castle is, is behind you. Uh, this is little Shelby. Hey, Shelby. Um, she's keeping a uh, guard, making sure the male, yeah. male person doesn't, <laughs> uh, you know, do anything uh, suspicious out front. Awesome. And then you got a little bit of... Now, this one of the dolls you played with when you were younger? Or? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That one is actually the one I still cuddle with at night. Okay, um, okay. You know, but I am willing to part with it for you. Uh, I got, really appreciate that. Yeah, Godzilla so, is that's keeping, cool. keeping her company. We've got the Viewmaster over here. Is this how most women see you as Godzilla? Like, you know, this is the date, and they're like, that, yeah. That's exactly. <laughs> see, now you understand why I have to get rid of it, because I don't, like, see myself in it anymore. Uh, you guys can tell Chris is pretty fun. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm a great guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but go He's single, ladies. Uh, hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> um, so Ghostbusters. If you get a date out of this... That's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. Dating a contractor. Is there we go, yeah, yes. That's the key. Um, and then we've got... What's this, I, a cabbage patch? Cabbage patch. Is there so anything that's, in that's there? the original case. Nope, nothing in it. No, is that for one of the dolls, or is that just that like That is a... for one of the dolls. If okay. I had one of the cabbage patch with a card, you better believe it would be yours. <laughs> And we have some of the real Ghostbusters. Now, this is one of the ones where you, I think his face spins yeah, around so or go, something. Yeah, goes to the normal face. Yeah. It's probably yeah. stuck. Yeah. you got to be careful with those, but I'll work it out. It'll... Then we have... 
little Debbie Barbie here. Yeah, it's an outfit. Unfortunately, this will not fit you. I know you were intrigued. It will. It will. Uh, oh, yeah, it's It'll gonna be like a like a thumb puppet. puppet. Yeah, yeah there something. we go. Look at that. You look yeah, so cute, cute in that yeah, hat. Oh my bonnet goodness. Will fit. See, now I'm. Okay. I might keep it. Now yeah, I'm I mean, not sure. You know, we all gotta Put keep it something on we Shelby, love. As a matter of fact. <laughs> and what else is under this? Uh, new kids on the block. So I think that is the little Debbie right there okay. in, in a little bit more festive outfit. Um, and the new kids on the block. These were my sisters. Okay. Um, if they were mine, they probably wouldn't have heads still. <laughs> but uh, you know, I know you're gonna have a, a good time. I will. I will do the uh, hanging tough rendition. Hanging tough. Oh, that'll go along with the with the new kids uh, poster. You have a new kids poster. You, you okay. Know, as a matter of fact, I'll snag that. I know your viewers are dying to see. Yeah, that. we got to see this. My sister was a big new kids on the block fan. Look at that. Jeez, is this this Marky Mark? Look how young he looks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, I'm hanging up the shot. So any of you folks want? You sure this? you want to hang it in your room? Uh, you know, I was going to, but uh, the dogs won't let me. As a matter of fact, yeah, so, I don't blame it, it gives them. Ryu nightmares. Otherwise, you know, I'd be I'd be saying hi to Joey. He said, why is it on the ceiling? And, yeah, don't worry about why it's on the ceiling. <laughs> So, uh, some more Fisher Price stuff. Uh, we got some old, really old puzzles. That's cool. Ghostbuster one. Now I'm assuming we're, you don't know if these are complete. I'm gonna have to go through and count all this fun stuff. I would. I would assume. Actually, I, I've taken one out of each to, to just to, yeah, just and, to, and yeah, put it in the wrong box. Exactly. Yeah. So when you call me later, I'll say you okay. know uh, yeah. I'll up the price for the singular. And then we got and trolls. Really old trolls. Um, and some Burger King toys. Those are uh, oh, what are they called? Troll warriors. I forget. Yeah, and some pogs in there too. It looks oh, like. pogs, huh? Do you remember playing Pogs? I do remember Pogs. I got Slammers in there. Those are all yours now, though. <laughs> and then we even have some old baseball yeah, stuff. Yeah, now you're showing me these. These things are pretty cool. Yeah, so these figurines are actually my father's. Uh, this one's Honus Wagner. This is actually the one in the worst condition, but we have uh, Joe DiMaggio. They're like just rubber, right? Yeah, they are plastic. like a hard cast plastic, um, and these are from the 60s, as a matter of okay, fact. Cool. Pretty neat. Yeah, I'll grab one of the uh, better conditions. Yeah, let's, let's, let's take a gander at that. Here. Here's the Joe DiMaggio. Jolton Joe. Those are pretty cool. It looks like almost like you'd think it would be a bank, but they're not. They're just yeah. like little busts to kind of... It's something that like, they display. I think they were actually at yeah, my father's when he was a kid. Really? Um, so, yeah, they're, That's cool. they're pretty cool. We got the more games here. We got an old Atari Lynx. Now, does this one work? So, unfortunately, I cannot tell you because the power button is missing. Oh, well, that's um, so fun. I did used to play that uh, in the back of the classroom in elementary school, <laughs> but uh, we do have the Ninja Gaiden that goes with it. Um, another Atari Miner 2049 or something like that. I remember like playing that, that one. Yeah. I remember playing uh, the Miner 49, or I think I would. What we called it. So. I don't know. And then, so now we got the stuff. I know you were dying to, I, dying just, to look yeah, at. Yeah, I mean, we got... Uh, old horses. Copious <laughs> amounts of old horses. There's a lot of old horses. Now, this was your sister's stuff, right? That's so, what I tell people. No, <laughs> Come on now. No, these were You my, can be honest. Everyone here is family. It's all friends, right? All right. right? Well, <laughs> maybe that white one was mine. But no, these were hers. She liked to collect them. Um, and I, I, I think she had jumping competitions in her yeah. room. So I, I know you're looking forward to setting up your living room. I, I will. My daughter will probably play with this. Show. This one we got some mohawk here. She gave her a little haircut. I, I think there's uh, several that might have had uh, a new new style here. And is there. your sister like a uh, hairstylist now? You know, no, she's not. Her hair is pretty wild, but uh, <laughs> she I, like a Cindy Lauper. You know, I'm not going to tell. I, I, don't, I don't want her to see this. As a matter of <laughs> fact, but uh, she definitely liked to uh, have all the horses and dolls be uh, a little ornate. So there might be a tail missing, yeah. just that and the other. Uh, so but now what these are the American these girl are the creepy dolls, ones. Right? Yeah, these are well, the American dolls. Yeah. They do. And so she's got tons of different outfits. The stand. Are there, uh, is there a haircut too, or no? No, the, she's no these though. are not. No, these these were her. Pride and joy. Pride and joy. Yeah, she was. She was one of the girls that loved her American Girl dolls. They had a okay. uh, bunk bed, which is in that box there, covered in dust. Uh, so when you, you set them up, you could actually put these next to your bed in the I bunk could. bed. You could. And so I, I can't I tell you, if they if you wake up and it's at the foot of the bed, don't call me. I have no part of that. It's like, why were you in my house? Exactly. How did you know where I lived? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm worried about. And then we got the GI Joes. These so are all some mine. Joes here. And then uh, some of my favorites, like the He-Man oh, toys. So th these ones are uh, really cool. Obviously, we even got, got the, the Battle, battle cat. cat. Nice. And then you got uh, Freight Zone over here with the puppet, which is cool because the, the puppet, puppet's yeah. always ripped or missing. Now yeah. it looks like you probably have a broken branch on the the broken tree here. Branch on there, yeah. It should all still have most of the pieces, but unfortunately, yeah, the puppet's in good shape. So this actually looks like the branch that you might yeah. be missing right yeah, there. Is. As a matter of fact, that's the broken yep. branch. 
Uh, and then we have some of the old tin cars. And yeah, the old army. We got the, some Hot Wheels there. Um, you know, Care Bear, uh, Lunch Bail, uh, the Tonkas. So a lot of cool old metal stuff, and as well right. as Weeble Wobbles. Weeble Wobbles wobble, but they don't fall but down. They don't fall down. Cool. And then you got some books over here. It looks like a Ghostbuster. Yeah, so uh, uh, a lot of those books are actually uh, Berenstein Bears. Is it Berenstein or Berenstein? You know, I don't That's know. That's one of those things they say. It's uh, What's know. it called? I can't remember. They say you remember it one way, but it's actually not that way. Uh, I, I, I know it's not Sam Bernstein. As long as yeah, you know right? it's not that. Yeah, he's, a, he's a Michigan attorney. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, besides so, that... We have um, one Star Wars here, it looks like. Yeah, Luke, Luke there. Unfortunately, he does not have a saber. Yeah. Uh, but he's keeping warm here in Michigan. It's, yeah, uh, with his little wool, wool cloak. And we have some... Um... And that little robot guy, the yeah, what is this? robot, that guy actually oh, right I did some research on him. Well, not that one, actually. This is that, the Transformer. That was the Transformer, but the one in the back right, I did a little research on him, the Flipbot. Okay. Um, and then you have Mr. Potato Head and the Garfield uh, necklace. And the Garfield necklace, I know you're not going to sell. That's no, I'm going to wear it. Collection. Yeah, I wear a lot of the stuff I, I buy. <laughs> so what is this guy? I don't... The Flipbot. So I actually looked him up on eBay, um, and he, he's got a cult following. I was really? not aware of. Yeah, it's something from the eighties. That what's that he do? Was... Is he fl- does he flip? Is that why he's called Flipbot? Do you know? No, I think that was my brother's. I couldn't tell you. As a matter of fact, <laughs> your brother's gonna be like, "Hey, where's my where's Flipbot, my Chris?" Flipbot. Like, no, I don't know he's... the dog ate it. <laughs> yeah, but what? What? I've never heard of such a thing. And then we got this thing here. Does go on YouTube? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so is this what? Chico. Chico. Yep. It's like a little uh, Fisher Price ish looking thing. Exactly. And then we have actually um, this Mark's. Mark's old train. And then this set right here was my father's from when he was a kid, too. Um, it's a plane set, as a matter of fact. So the, Does the it fly? Uh, yeah. You know, if you could make it fly, it would be momentary, I would say, at best. <laughs> so it's like a model kit, though. It's a model okay. kit, exactly. But this is uh, That's super, neat. super old. It's motorized, so we'll it's see. supposed to. Do something, I guess. You know, I've never actually even opened it. That was the first time I've opened it. Mm-hmm. And Off it's... to the tower. Doesn't look very action packed. This is an action pursuit game, but you know, I, I see the dinosaur sticker on the outside. I think that's really the highlight. Yeah, of the that's box. the action right there, right? And then in there we have some uh, odds and ends. Um, yeah, it's like Slenderman, the Slender Psycho. Bunny. Yeah, yeah that's... Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that that's another one that's going to creep up on your pillow. Like, yeah. uh, in the middle of the night. <laughs> Um, we got some random Ghostbuster stuff. Okay. I think this is the, another one of those Chico yeah, looks uh, like it. vehicles. So uh, when you're when you're getting your Barbies later, they got something yeah. to drive. Awesome. And then like the old McDonald's toys. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you got a mix of everything. You got then. A mix of everything. Are you just getting the stuff out of your attic? You said you're you're getting ready to move, so that's why yeah, you're selling. Yeah. So off. Uh, I'm getting rid of pretty much my childhood. Uh, getting ready to move in the next uh, about three to six months. I've got a downside, yeah. so th- this is unfortunately uh, my memories, but it's going to a good place, and hopefully some of you folks can uh, can find some memories to make out of it. Cool. All right, guys, well, we're going to uh, look through a little bit of this more closely, and um, you know, me and Chris are going to talk price and see if we can come up with a deal, but really cool. All right, Chris, well, I thank you for uh, showing us your collection. My and... pleasure, guys, and I appreciate your time today, and definitely stop by the store. Um, smash that like button, you gotta say. Yeah, you sma- and subscribe. You gotta smash that button and subscribe. I knew I liked this guy yeah. for a reason. And then uh, come buy some turtles, guys. Yeah, come right? Buy some turtles and toys. Uh, support your local business. Awesome. Alright, guys, so we made a deal with Chris, and we ended up picking up all this stuff. The truck is loaded down. The entire bed of the truck's full. Um, the inside's full. We got all, all that stuff. So we're gonna go through it in a little more detail when we get back. But, uh, you know, I have to say, one of my favorite things about this job is the people I meet um, doing this. You know, Chris was a really cool guy, uh, letting us film inside the house. And he was really personal. You can see that uh, he's, he's kind of in sales. I think he said he does sales for, uh, I don't know, it was a Land Rover, I believe. But really good dude. So, Chris, if, you, if you're watching this, you know, swing on out to the shop in Utica when you, when you make it out our way. And uh, don't forget to call me when you find the rest of the stuff you have in the attic. But, guys, we're going to go through this stuff and uh, show you what we have in a little more detail. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm here at the shop trying to get some stuff done. I'm trying to beat the weather. Uh, snow a little bit. We're supposed to get more snow, but the lumber yard dropped off all the lumber today, so we have all the subfloor that was left. I've already taken a bunch of stuff in, honestly, but I needed a break, so I figured I'd uh, share with you. So these are the giant LVLs. They're 34 feet long to go from that um, midsection of the building all the way to the new storefront. So these are going to be interesting trying to get in. We'll see if we can't get them in because it's going to be fun. All right, guys, this stuff's heavy. I'm here by myself moving this stuff. But as the Marine Corps taught me, adapt, improvise, overcome. So I came up with something to make it a little bit easier. So I can just slide those on here, 
and slide them right up. So why lift when you can slide? Now those things, those are a beast. I just had to move this one here and whew, I'm gonna need help getting those inside. So I just gave uh, my buddy a call and he's gonna swing out and give me a hand. But yeah, we're getting it in there. So I already gotten uh, three of the smaller LVLs, like the 14 foot versions of this inside and probably about 10 sheets of that uh, subfloor and a couple 12 by, um, what are they? Two by 12s. So we're getting it there, but fitting it around this bend is gonna be uh, interesting. I don't know if it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna have to lay those in here, so. Anyways, hopefully uh, my buddy gets here soon and we can start getting this stuff all moved in and get it out because like I said, I wanna beat this storm that's coming in. We're supposed to get a couple inches of snow and I really don't want all this stuff sitting out there even with the tarp on it. You know, sitting out there, moisture is going to get underneath it. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to get back to work. All right, guys, so we beat the storm. We got all that stuff inside the building, and uh, we're going to go through some of these toys that we just bought. So, as you can see here, I have the Ninja Turtle cases, and I have the two little die-cast car cases. We're going to go through this first. Reason being is it's going to make it a little more streamlined since they're all kind of sorted by, you know, what toy is in there. And i got to match up all the accessories with these guys and get them sorted and bagged and tagged and all that fun stuff. So, uh, without further ado, let's check these out. The Ninja Turtles first. Um, I'm hoping that some of these are complete. That's probably pretty unlikely. A lot of times I'll buy collections and, you know, there'll, there'll be uh, a lot of figures and a lot of accessories. But especially with Ninja Turtles, because a lot of these, especially the original guys, had so many different, like, accessories that came on that little weapons tree. They tend not to have them all. But there are a bunch of other boxes, so I'm hoping if they're not in here, they are mixed in with some of the uh, the G.I. Joes or some of those other boxes. And uh, Chris actually did get back up with me and said he did find some other stuff, so I need to get up with him. Um, probably once he gets up in his attic, he said he has a couple more boxes up there. I believe he said he has the, um, or he's pretty sure that he has the My Pet Monster with a football helmet. Um, so hopefully he has that, and then hopefully he'll find some more of this kind of stuff. He said there's a couple more bins up there, he just hasn't gotten them down yet. So we have Dr. L here, so we have at least one of his weapons. We have, what's that, Toka? All right, we got uh, Michelangelo here. It's a hard head. So there's hard head and soft heads. The hard head ones are the newer versions. Um, the original uh, release had soft heads. I guess they just wanted to use less plastic. And what it means is if you squeeze it and it's hard, it doesn't squeeze at all. Um, it's one of the hard head versions. So we have him. We have Genghis Frog here. I remember having these. I mean, these were I was getting a little older where I really wasn't playing with uh, toys as much when these came out. Um, but I remember having some of these that my brother had. He's, my younger brother had more of this kind of stuff than I did. But I still do like Ninja Turtles. We've got Shredder, and he does have his cape, which is cool. We have, uh, that's the foot, one of the foot soldier weapons, and that's the other foot soldier weapon. So hopefully we have a foot soldier, because I think that's all he came with, and that would make him complete. We have Master Splinter here. He has his cane and his um, belt and his little robe there. And then we have the Rock and Roll or Heavy Metal Raphael. Um, I'm not sure what that goes to. I'm not sure I'll have to look that up. Then we have a spear. I don't think that goes with Dr. L. That eh, might, it does. I think he has this. He has those bone nunchucks and then he has like the face mask and shield. If I remember correctly, what we have under here. Ah! My hand! Bebop's missing his hand. <laughs> Hopefully it's in there. It looks like, I think that should snap back on if he's there. But we do have the foot soldier, which is good. So um, we will have a completed foot soldier. Because I believe he only came with those two accessories. So I'll double check that. But what I do is once I go through these collections, I'll take the accessories, put them with the figure. And I have these like acid-free bags that I will uh, put the figures in here. I'll show you one of them. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take these polypropylene bags, and they're acid-free so they don't um, destroy the plastic. It kind of keeps them safe. And the, some of the larger ones actually have a little air vent hole there. Um, this one does not. I don't think this is going to be the right size for Ninja Turtles. Uh, he might fit in there. So I'll put them in there. What I do is I, I match the accessories with the figures. I put them in these. Um, for the more expensive figures, I use the actual hard, rigid clamshell cases. Um, but... For some of the figures, I'll just basically put them in those bags, tag them with the price, and then uh, they're ready to go and be hung up at the store once we get everything open. So I'm trying to get everything situated now so once the construction is done, we can actually get in there. So we have Leonardo here. Okay, this one, one of the guys with the wacky features. So you push the little button on his back and his eyes pop out. You're not subscribed to Sergeant Red yet? What? Make sure to subscribe! Ah! See, even Leonardo wants you to subscribe, guys. 
Um, so if you haven't already, I'll ask you now. Now's the good as time of any. Um, as good of a time as any to uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, we'd really appreciate it if you share the videos. So we're going to keep bringing you guys content, keep buying collections and sharing it with you. And once we get the shop open, you know, obviously we'll do stuff with the shop. Um, we're doing the construction videos and all that now, but um, once it's done, we'll continue doing stuff with that and kind of go into like how we do things at the shop and, you know, organizing, pricing, maybe talk to some customers and stuff like that. So here we got Raphael. I don't know if he's supposed to have a button. Oh, there's the button on the side. Uh, this is one of the ones I think he'd break dance, like you put a thing in there and it'll spin around. Um, these are a little stiff right now because it's, it was cold outside. There's literally frost on some of the bins because these were sitting in the uh, bed of my truck for a while. I'm not sure who that goes to. That goes to Krang. And always, always, guys, check underneath these because you never know. Sometimes, yep, you will find weapons. If you get cardboard boxes with toys in them, if you pull up those flaps at the bottom, sometimes you'll find them. And um, with these accessory cases, stuff just happens to get lost under there. So I think that was it, just those two pieces. I thought there was a piece of mouse poop in there, but it was not. All right, now we have number two here. So this one I was looking at, it looked a little funky with the picture on the front, but it looks like the cardboard must have broken off and just kind of slid over. Um, first I thought it was like a misprint, but it's not. I don't know how I'd get that back down there. Maybe just uh, tap it a little, get some gravity working, but I'll give it a shot. So in here we have Casey Jones, a very popular figure. I always find Casey Jones. I used to love the Casey Jones figure. He has his little golf bag. Um, he has a couple baseball bats and uh, hockey sticks and stuff. Then we have another Raphael. This TV, I think that goes with one of the play sets. We got the Samurai Leonardo, who is, of course, missing his shoulder and knee armor. These guys are always missing the little knee pads. Then we have Donnie here. Another hard head. Good old April O'Neil. And Krang. It's actually kind of a clear bubble. Normally the bubbles can turn yellow, or sometimes they can turn yellow. I don't want to say normally, but sometimes they can turn yellow. But it looks like we have some of Casey Jones' uh, baseball bats, and I think he has a, has a golf club and a hockey stick. I can't remember. Some long pole weapon. What did I drop over here? And uh, we have a firearm with a uh, boxing glove on it. All right, so we have Leonardo here. Or, I mean, uh, Donatello. This is the disguised Donatello. He'd have a little suitcase um, and then a little mask that he'd wear. This probably goes with one of the rock and roll guys. So another Donatello. What's this guy do? If anything. He's supposed to do something, but looks like his legs, yeah. So a little wind-up action on him. Then we have Donatello with the mohawk here. And another Michelangelo, a wind-up one. They just made all kinds of stuff, guys. Like, he would hold a... Oh, I forget what it is. It's like a... I think it's this thing. Or something similar to this. He holds it and it spins. I thought it was green, but... Might be mistaken. And we have uh, the surfing Michelangelo. Um, a couple other accessories here. I'm not sure who that goes to. That's Leo. And we got Pandacom. So let's check underneath. And, yep, so we have, I believe that's Bebop's. He's, he had that, a trash can lid or a sewer lid shield and a, like a knife, if I remember correctly. So, all right, well, that's the Ninja Turtles. And I, I want to say there were some more in some of those other bins, which I will get to when I get to those bins. But for now, I'm going to move this aside and we will go through some of these Hot Wheels. And Matchbox, I know, I know. I can't just call it Hot Wheels, I gotta call it by both names. Or, die-cast cars. So this holds 48, I'm, I'm betting it's got a little more in there. It's kinda, kinda stuffed. It's kinda heavy. I don't know, maybe just, uh, that one's just popped out. So, let's see here. I think there's like four of these, yeah. So what we're looking for here, I mean, these, you know, probably look like they're in played with condition. That's not too bad. Some of these are in decent shape. So what you want to look for is, and I'm not a die cast expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I do know to look for the, the red lines. Um, 
because those ones can be a little more collectible and a little more valuable. And if I have, oh, but that's actually one right there. So it's not in the best shape. All right, there we go. All right, guys, so I just had to fix the focus. So what you see here is a red line. And what that means is you'll have this uh, red line around the tire. I mean, that's kind of worn out, but even in this condition, I think people over, uh, ooh, gremlin grinder. I think people will restore these, um, the red lines, but again, I'm not a big matchbox diecast kind of guy, but I do know enough to know that those have some value to them. So I'm gonna try to get this camera here to focus correctly. And I'll show you guys these. I'm not going to take them all out. I'm just kind of peek at them and see if we have any red lines and any of that. There's a ton of them. The old police truck there. Got the old. Oh, there's another red line right there. All right, cool. So we're going to have a couple of red lines in here. Those are really, really beat up, but. Again, I think there is still a collector uh, base for them, even if they're in bad condition like that. So I don't know if those were older ones or maybe his dad's. I know he said he had uh, his dad had some of the die casts and stuff, but I thought that was older stuff. So maybe actually he did say he had a brother, so maybe they were his older brothers. Because he would not have gotten those as brand new as a wee lad. Uh, that one's that's tore up. Um, let's go through a couple of these other ones. Let's see what we have. Is that the Batmobile? No, that's a red line. It's pretty interesting looking. Looks like the Batmobile, right? Uh, 1970. I can't read it on the camera. Jet Threat. 1970 jet threat so that's cool i think it's what three or four that's another red line okay so we have some red lines in here this is good good news good news now i don't know i mean i'm assuming the condition just like on any other toy is adversely affected by or the value is adversely affected by poor condition but little cobra there mazda I have some ideas with the, the cheaper Matchbox cars, like how I'm going to display and sell them in the shop. And I'll show you guys if I can get the idea to work. So, There's another red line. Was that the first one I showed? No, that's a different one. Old State Patrol car. Now, I had Matchboxes growing up, but I never really got into cars. Like I'm not a car guy, like a gearhead or anything like that. I kind of wish I was. Um, but it's just not one of the things that I ever really got into. But I can understand why people would be really into uh, vehicles. If they're, you know, if you're really into real life vehicles, then of course, obviously, maybe you got your love of vehicles with these things. Or starting off with these. Look at that thing. That's cool. All right, and then. That's them. All right, so let's go through this last Hot Wheels match. That's a Hot Wheels case. I can actually say Hot Wheels on this one because it, the case actually does say Hot Wheels. So let's look at these bad boys. All right, I did have some people reach out regarding some of the stuff from the trash bag uh, collection that we picked up. And you sent messages via our website. And... Um, I don't know if you didn't type the email in there right or not, because I could not respond. I tried, and it bounced back. So if you sent me a message about something and I didn't get back to you, I just I tried, and I, I couldn't get back. Or um, if you put something in the comments, just go ahead and send us an email. This stuff I'm going to be pricing out um, for the shop. And like I said, with these, these Hot Wheels, the lower value ones, I, I have an idea for the shop, so I'm not going to be bulking these out just yet. If my idea doesn't pan out, then I might. But I have a couple ideas. Which I will share at a later date. I want to wait until I can see if it's feasible first. Got some of the uh, military ones. Now we found some of these in the 80s house. Some of the uh, old military style ones. They were like mint condition. Like never played with. I don't know if they were the exact same ones. But that thing still works. That's cool.
All right, guys. Well, ah, golly, I'm glad that's not heavy. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the cars. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to go through some of the other stuff in another video. Um, we had like Ninja Tur or we had the Ninja Turtles and the Hot Wheels today, but he had some G.I. Joes. He had some He-Man stuff. There's some My Little Ponies and all that stuff. So we'll go through that in another video. Um, but if you haven't already, guys, please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. And if you can share these videos, we really appreciate that as well. But um, until next time, we'll see you later. Didn't crush my hand that time.